Good morning, guys. What is happening? What is going on? What is good? Hope you're great. Thank you guys today we're doing another reaction video. Guys, it is a one-week tool marathon. First and foremost, before we get started, I just want to thank you all very, very much for A, subscribing, B, watching my videos, C, commenting, <coughs> and D, liking the videos. Guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I have enjoyed doing the pot, not like weed. Wait, is pot weed? I don't mean like drugs. I mean, I, I enjoyed doing like the reaction video for the song, The Pot. I enjoyed, oh man, Vicarious was a hell of a song. So of course, guys, it only makes sense that I carry on this week with some more Tool. Yes, one week of Tool, guys. I don't know. Might this stretch to like two weeks? Who fucking knows? Guys, before I get into this, make sure A, you subscribe to the channel, and B, if you want to, follow me on Instagram. Guys, make sure you also check out my vlogs. Uh, two vlogs that I did uh, over the weekend, uh, photographing hot chicks, and then photographing more hot chicks. I think that's what it's called. Either way, if you guys want to watch, you know, good-looking girls getting their photos taken, check those videos out because guys that, sometimes that's what I do you know I'm a photographer and a videographer so yeah um, so today guys we're doing tools sober now I did a bit of digging here and the song sober is in their undertow album so this is the I've got something stuck on my fucking hold on there we go so um, this is from their first album undertow released in April 6 1993 this was released a year after I was born. That is fucking insane when you actually think about it. That is a long time. That's 25 years old. This album is 25 years old. <laughs> Holy shit. So, yeah. Uh, released in April 1993. April 6, 1993 on the label Zoo. Zoo Records. Uh, so, this went two times platinum. It says you were 2.9 million, but I'm pretty damn sure that it got maybe 3 million or something. Um, so yeah, let's click on Undertow here. So this song Sober is the third track on the album. And yeah, so this, the producer is Sylvia Massey. That's pretty cool, man. They had like a chick to, uh, to produce the album. That's, that's fucking awesome. I really do dig that. So let's see what else she's, no, you know, we'll get into that later. Cause I don't want to get too fucking thingy. Um, so yeah, I don't really have much else to say guys. So I've got. I mean, the video that I'm reacting to has the lyrics on it, but I do want to find out what the song is, what the song is about. So I'm going to go on Tool, Sober, Lyric. I'm going to go on Genius.com and see if anyone's written up anything about this song. Ah, oh, man, it's so cool to, like, react to their old, well, their first stuff because the two songs that we did was, like, their newer shit. So, yeah. So the song... That brought Tool its fame in the mid-90s, Sober, was written about a friend of the band who is only creative when under the influence. The song itself has a very eerie bass line that, oh, I'm so excited, that rings throughout, accompanied by Adam Jones' dissonant guitars and Maynard James Keenan's unorthodox vocal delivery. Wow, I'm very excited to listen to this shit. I like that kind of stuff. One thing that I know about Tool Man, after listening to two of their songs, by the way, it is not sunny today. It is nice and cloudy, and it's kind of raining a little bit. I really dug that. Guys, I went to the gym today. Make sure you click that like button, guys, if you're, you know, proud of me for going to the gym. Put that on mute. That's just my girlfriend. Guys, make sure you also subscribe to my girlfriend. She does reaction videos, too, and, uh, yeah, they're quite cool. But, um, yeah, one thing that I notice about Tool is that, like, just the style of music that they do is so, like, like it's written here, unorthodox. Like, different time signatures. In, in one song, they'll have like four different time signatures, man. I love that so much. It's just like, it, it, it makes things fresh and just weird. And they have like this kind of dark, like this dark tribal vibe. And it, that shit just, for me, gets my shit going. You know what I mean? So guys, without further ado, let's fucking get into this. Make sure you subscribe. There's a fucking bug here. I don't want to kill it on camera because, you know, no bugs harmed in this video shit. Right, guys, let's do this. Tools Sober. 31.2 million views on this video. Nope. Okay. I love that bass tone already. I really like that bass tone. It's very, like, uh, grungy.
Very eerie, very eerie. This is actually very different from the two videos that I've, that I've reacted to, the two songs, but I liked it a lot. It's so powerful, very, very cinematic sounding. It's like a wall of sound just hitting you. Writing in this is on another level. Very, very powerful voice. Very, very powerful. Center in you. I will chew it up and leave. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Okay, a few things to say. First and foremost, Maynard James Keenan's writing is just, guys, it is spiritual level. 
I won't be surprised if this guy fucking summons like these demons and like Illuminati shit in order for him to write this this incredible writing. But fucking hell, guys, like a lot of this stuff, like I just don't understand because it's just so complex to writing. Like here, um, where is it? Where is it? So murder now the path called must we like what what does that even mean like that's just like harvard level english creative writing murder now the path called must we how does that that makes no sense but at the same time it probably doesn't i'm just fucking stupid so there's a shadow just behind me shrouding every step i take making every promise empty pointing every finger at me i get that i get that Waiting like a stalking butler. I fucking love that so much. Um, is that a simile or is that a metaphor? What is it? simile like metaphor? Metaphor is explaining something as something else. So that's a simile, right? So waiting like a stalking butler. I like that a lot. Who upon the finger rests? Murder now the path called must we. I don't get that. Guys, what does that mean? What does that line mean? Oh, and thank you very much, by the way, by the way, for clarifying to me what a kangaroo court means. Uh, a kangaroo, yeah, a kangaroo court. Thank you very much for explaining what that means to me. Totally makes sense now. Um, that was from the pot video, by the way. Like, I didn't understand what the kangaroo, what he meant by kangaroo. So you guys told me kangaroo court. So thank you very much for that. Um, so just before the sun has come. Oh, man. That's, that's just the level of complexity in the complexity 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 in the writing is what draws me in so much because i just want to know more i just want to see what else he writes because the writing is just on another level this guy is a creative genius um like <clears throat> on another level now what i noticed with the with the instrumentation it's not as complex as the two videos that we did um, so I guess throughout time, they just kind of got more complex. I don't know if this genre of rock, can we call it rock, um, was what was popular back in like the early 90s. And then throughout the years, we're like, right, let's get more, I guess, progressive and experimental. This to me is like a, like a rock song, you know, rather than fucking that genre. Let, let's call it the tool genre. Uh, that we, you know, that, that I, that I heard in those two last songs, The Pot and Vicarious, but at the same time, it's so different, but it's so genius. That wall of sound that hits you when the chorus comes, boom, and it's not like da, 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 it's just like, boom, and then it just lets it kind of ring out, and then again, boom, boom, like that, you know, and it just, it's this, it's this overwhelming sound. It's so simple, but it fucking hits you. I wonder what it's like. See when when they're in the when they're in the recording studio and they're recording this. Like it must be some dark shit because these guys are dark. I was watching. I was trying to find some live videos of them. Ah, oh, motherfuck! Shit. Fuck. Oh, uh, guys, I have a fucking scab on my leg, and I just pulled it out from doing that. Um, it's okay. I'm fucking manly, but. What was I saying? Yeah, like it, like this music is super dark, and I don't know. I want to say satanic, but it's just very dark, like dark music, very tribal. Like they must get on some crazy hallucinogenics or something when they're writing their music. But man, it must be insane, like being in the studio with them while they're writing and producing. It's some motherfucking shit. When they're writing and producing their stuff, I can just imagine like dim lights and they've got some candles and God knows what they're doing. But oh man, this is insane. The writing, the instrumentation. I love the mix. Like that um that gritty bass. Not grungy. I said grungy, but I was trying to figure out the word, the right word. That gritty bass that like for me the bass makes this. The bass makes the song. And you know what I noticed as well? Is that the drummer, like, see what, it's mostly with the, with the, with the cymbals, like, seeing bits where it plays, but like, he kind of goes, he, he's playing like his own thing. He's not even following the guitars or the vocals. He's like, playing like something different. What is that called? Is that something? Or am I just fucking talking shit? But I noticed that here. He goes, go like, like he does his own thing, but it's like, it's a beautiful little, like, yeah, 
So I'm going to give this song, honestly, 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 I will give it like a 9.7. The pot, I, w I would have given that maybe like a like an 8.9. Vicarious, I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. Hands down. This, I'm going to give it like a like a like a nine point maybe nine point seven or something. Man, that was insane. That was on another level. Um and like it's so simple. Like the song is called Sober. So it's written about a friend of the band who was only creative when under the influence. That's it. But the writing is so complex it just takes you into this other dimension. Like picture yourself in space, right? And then there's like a slide like this vortex, sorry. And you just go in it and just go somewhere else. That's what I feel when listening to this, when reacting to like the lyrics, let alone the music, man. This guy could probably write about like a fucking balloon and it would just sound insane. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it for me. I can't wait to get the rest of the shit done. So next up we got, I don't know what we got next, but definitely Tool again. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please, Click that subscribe button if you guys want to follow me on Instagram. I'm always doing cool shit, by the way. So if you guys are just into, like, seeing what somebody in Scotland does, you know, on the daily, make sure you follow me. Greatly appreciate it. Guys, thank you so fucking much. Comment down below, guys. Smash that. Smash, smash the comment section because you guys are doing fucking amazing. I love reading all your stuff. And I promise that I will reply to each and every one of you guys. I'm going to make it happen. It's just like... I upload these videos and I'm super busy, man. Like, I've got a lot of stuff going on, but I do find time to make these videos and upload them and stuff, you know? So, yeah. Uh, in the meantime, guys, have a great, fantastic, wonderful, beautiful day. Let me know what other Tool songs you want me to do, and I will do them. Peace.